Nigel, bit of an exclusive for us today here. The HD models uh, of your vertical machining centres, new to your range. Why have you introduced them? Oh, well, we've, we've had um, three models in our HD range for a long time. The 560, 710 and the 1020. And we wanted a bigger cross travel on all of the machines. So we've introduced a new range and these are 660 mil, 800 millimetres and 1100 millimetres. So does that mean the, these machines have got bigger, bigger travels essentially then in the X and the Y axis? Yes they've, got, yes, they've got bigger travels in the X and the Y and on the 1100, which we'll see later, you can put a lot more weight on the table than, than our 1000 millimetre machine that we had before. So for people that haven't seen some of our videos before, you've got the LR range, which we've looked at on a few occasions, and the HD, what's the difference between those two? Well, the HD range, we've had that for a long, long time. And we've got four models in the HD range, plus our big heavyweight machines. And I was told as apprentice that you needed lots of cast iron and lots of bearing area. But over the years, technology's changed and now people can use the LR, lot cheaper uh, to produce. It has linear bearings, but the HD are big, heavy-duty box ways. So for intermittent cutting, cutting really tough materials, the, the box weigh machine is still the way to go. Okay, and that's what we have here. So we have the 800 model here. Yep. Tell us the, the, the difference on the travel with, the, uh, with all of the three ranges as well, the, all of the three models. Yeah. Well, the 560 was uh, 560 by 400. The 660 now is 660 by 450, 50 millimetres in Y. The 800 is 800 millimetres as opposed to 710 and it's also 500 in, in Y. And then the metre or the one metre gives you up to 1100. Yeah, that's 1100, it goes up to 1100 millimetres, but more importantly, it's got 610 millimetres of cross travel Y axis, and we can put 1500 kilograms on the table, whereas the old machine was only 800 kilograms. Okay, well you stay tuned for that in a minute because we're going to see one of these machines without any of the guarding on. Um, so you, the, the 610 mil in the y-axis is quite advantageous because a lot of engineers look for that on the meter style machines, don't yeah. they? Yes, they do, and we've lost orders in the past, so when we lose orders, we decide how we're going to uh, change things to become better. All right, any other changes in the makeup of the machine? Is there anything else that's different on yeah. the new HDs? Yeah, the new HDs have got a 10,000 RPM spindle as standard, whereas the old ones were uh, 8,000. And we've now gone to the Siemens 828 with the touch screen. So we've now got a 15 inch monitor touch screen. So just moving with technology. And the machines look uh, and feel slightly different as well, don't they? You've, you've got quite a big viewing area in the window there on this particular machine, yeah, as you can yeah, see, we, we which are. again, quite advantageous. Yeah, but yes, people wanted bigger, bigger windows, so we've put, we've put bigger windows in there. Um, these are all a, a, a triple layer of Lexan and um, the a good viewing area, yeah. And you bringing these in for stock, I mean, that's the key point. With this market, with this VMC market, you've got to respond quickly. You've not only got to be competitive on price, but you've got to, you've got to be able to deliver fast. Well, you know as well, we're in this building, we're looking at 300 plus machines. And we are got into a stock situation for the HD. We haven't got them in our showrooms yet. It really will be a genuine launch at Mac. Um, so people will be able to see the machines at Mac. And we do have stock and um, assuming we're not overwhelmed with masses of orders we can supply in a few weeks. Okay, now what I want to do now is we're going to go over and have a look at the 1100 machine uh, without any of the guarding on so you can yep. just get a feel for the new way it's built. So let's go and have a look. So Nigel, the HD1100 machine, this is, this is it without any guarding on this vertical machining yeah. centre. Why are you choosing to show this here like this? Oh, we're going to take this to Mac and show it on the stand. The reason was that we wanted to show what a great construction the new 1100 is. And some very important factors are that on the old machine, our old meter machine, you could only put 800 kilograms on the table. On this, we can put uh, 1500 kilograms on the table and it's fully supported. So we wanted to show people the, 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 what the construction of the machine is. Rather than just telling people, it's great to be able to see it like this. So if, if the camera comes a little bit closer, what we're really looking at here is obviously a much bigger base, isn't it? Yep. It's a much bigger base. The, the saddle goes from one end to the other. The table doesn't move in the X as such. 
so the whole assembly of the saddle and the table move and this gives us the ability to put 1500 kilos on and it'd be fully supported even here. So, so you can imagine if this if this axis here which is the x-axis moves along to this point there's yeah. no there's no difference in uh, the positioning of this uh, particular table is there? No, no the, t the table would stay where it is and it can only move in the y y-axis and it's a much more rigid construction is it is it a, therefore a much heavier machine as well it's slightly heavier than the old machine but uh, the construction's made it so that it doesn't need to be much heavier to give it greater rigidity and if, if it is heavier that's good for uh, dampening out vibration as well when mach mach machining and also by looking at the, the width of these guideways as well you're not compromising there are you um, no, the, um, the width of the white sideways is exactly the same on this as it was on the other one. It's just really the construction gives us the ability to have a, a, a more rigid machine. So we're talking about five pieces here that make up this construction on this HD machine then, aren't we? Yes, we are. The five pieces are the base, the saddle, the table, the column and the head. So, uh, engineers will be able to go to Mac and see this like this at Mac, touch and feel it and see what, your, what is under the clothes of the XYZ HD range. Once you come back from the show, are you going to have this here as well in Devon to keep it in this way? Depending this, on This will go in our, show, in our um, reception in our Devon headquarters, yes. Great, okay, brilliant. So you can see this at Mac uh, 2018, which is just around the corner. You see this XYZ HD machine uh, on their stand.